Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and today I am back with tons of different ways that you can get the most out of basic sort of dies. Now I mean circles, squares, maybe butterflies, things like that. So if you stick around, I'll show you what we're going to do. Alright, the first one, I want to show you this. This is just really adorable and it's really, really simple to do. So what I did was I took first of all a circle die and I've took a piece of card which is four by four and all I want to do is sort of get the middle of that card and then I want to die cut this out and with the same circle die I've cut a white circle and I've just stamped and coloured in this really sweet little penguin okay and then I've got a piece of mirror card which is the same size as that so four by four um, and that's going to go behind it when we cut this up. So I'm going to quickly die cut this out. I've die cut that out and we just, you can use that for something else, okay? If you want to take a ruler and a pencil, you can, but I'm just going to sort of eyeball the middle of this. And I'm going to cut there. And then I'm going to cut straight above it, which is about here. Then you've got two halves and all you want to do is cut them in half as well. So you end up with sort of four corners basically. <clears throat> and then what we want to then do is take our four corners and we're going to glue it on our mirror card here. Okay, just like that and then we're going to leave a bit of a gap so we can see the gold through it or silver or whatever colour you're going to use and then we're basically going to then pop the circle in the middle that will also leave a little border of the gold and pop that on a little card base so I'm gonna have done another sentiment this one is there's snow friend like you so I'm gonna pop this together and I'll be back there we go so there's the first one that I did and then the one we've just done now with the gold you can just see it picks up that lovely sort of little gold trim around there so that's an idea you can do with your I mean you, it doesn't just have to be circles you can do it with other shapes as well so let's move on to the next one okay so this next one is using like a basic die which happens to be a circle there is a couple of other little dies I've used but obviously you can just use what you have and I want to show you the example here that I've done so I've cut it so that the whole card is like see-through but you can you don't have to have the see-through bit and if you see these dies here what I've actually done is I've cut them into the frame as well so it kind of um, looks like a sort of four layer and die you know you can get like a frame with leaves or vines or whatever and um, but this is kind of creating your own and it's really easy to do and I think it just creates a beautiful effect so what I've done is I've took a piece of card here which is five and three quarters square and I've took a circle and I have just cut the circle out like that okay then I've just took a piece of vellum here and I've just cut it from a larger circle so we're going to need that now I've got these two same little dies here they're called something posy I think I've got some of these on my website I love this little die I use this quite a lot you get two in the set and it's these two dies here so you get a larger one and a smaller one okay sorry so I've took the the two dies here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer them on this cut out but I obviously want it to 
actually go onto this piece here. So I'm going to have say one there and then just get some low tack tape. And then I'm going to have the smaller one just sort of there. And again, I've got this piece on the bottom and then I'm just going to die cut those out like that. And then from the same card, you want to die cut them out again. So they're like full die cuts. So I will run these through and I'll be straight back. All right, so I've die cut them out. So you will end up with just small pieces of the die cut out from the actual frame. Do you see? That's what we have. So I've also got a piece of white card, which is exactly the same as that five and three quarters square. And what I've done is the same. So what I've done is I've laid that over there before I cut them out and I drew a pencil line around that, around this aperture here. So that's going to allow me to then come along and cut out the hole again. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just pop this die on, but this one is going to be a slightly smaller one because if you see here, I want it to peep around. I want like a, a different color border. So I want this die to be slightly smaller than the pencil line. Can you see that there? So I'm going to quickly die cut that out. So I've cut that out there. Just rub this out. Sorry if you can hear noise, it's because the window cleaner's here and the dog's going a little bit crazy. So just rub the pencil line out. Is we'll take this bit. This will then go back over there. So now we've got a lovely little white border around and this is where our die cuts are then gonna go. So what we will do, take our die cuts and they will just glue straight back in there and it does give a sort of illusion as if you know you've kind of your dies already came like this but it hasn't we're just creating our own so you just want to glue these together so this needs to be glued onto here And there you go so you can sort of create your own four sort of die die cut look i'm just going to pop a little bit of glue under there just make sure it's stuck and then i've got my piece of acetate which is going to get stuck behind there like that now you could there's loads of things you could put behind it actually even Sometimes you get patterned papers that are really patterned and you're just not sure what to do with them or even like a colouring book if you've got a really nice sort of picture or a pattern from a colouring book you could cut them up and put them behind it doesn't have to just be vellum or something like that and then I'm just going to trim the bit of white that's sticking th through and then I'm going to put this on my card base. Now, as I said before, this one, I then cut another circle from the actual card to make it see through. But I think I might just keep that one like that. But if you do want to do that, what I did was I just had this here where I wanted. I flipped it over and the light reflection, you might not be able to see it on camera, but it's picking up the reflection of the circle so what I did was I then just popped it on put a bit of tape on and cut it out so you can do that or you can just have it on like I'm going to do with this one now so there we go we've got two pretty thank you cards made with this kind of you know four effect layer and die that I've just created with circles and some vellum. So 
let's move on to the next one okay now this next one is really really simple but it is a good way to kind of create your own sort of four layer and effect dies i think you know the kinds i mean you may get two or three and you cut them out and lay them on top of each other so i did this one with stars and what i've done is i've just took two pieces of card which are exactly the same size and i've cut ignore that bit i've cut that way too far to the top but basically I've just I don't have a lot of layer and heart dies Um, I've got these two here and the largest die I've just randomly cut it out of one of the pieces of card so now I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to lay this on because I know it's the exact same size oh. and I've messed that one up so we'll pretend that one hasn't happened and then I'm basically just going to roughly draw around these hearts and it's just a guide for where I'm going to cut the smaller heart out of the blue card underneath okay you won't be able to see the pencil marks but I can and then all I know then is I need to roughly try to get them in where they're pretty much lined up in the middle of the pencil mark and then I'm going to cut them out as well so I'll do that and I'll be back now I've done that I haven't exactly got these ones completely straight because I think the card was a bit dark and I couldn't really see the pencil marks but you get what I mean you can actually make your own layer and dies by doing that this is the star one I've done um, and the last one I just put a little bit of uh, silver mirror card behind it this one i cut the last little star actually out of the card base as well so we have that there too but i just think it's a brilliant way to get more use from your dies by creating these layering effects and it couldn't basically be done with any shape you like but i do like the stars um so yeah let's move on to the next one all right so the next one dead quick and simple so I've took a little heart die here and I've just die cut four small hearts and then if you've got a circle die or a punch even I've just used this little three quarters of an inch paper punch and all you're going to do is take some glue <clears throat> and you're just going to pop of glue just on there and you're basically going to make a flower with these and I'll show you a little example of what I've made and they actually make really pretty little flowers Okay, so it's just something like that just basically getting them all on there together <clears throat> and it basically makes a beautiful little flower now what I've done here is I've made three of them and I've just popped them on a card and what I did as well was I took just a black pen and I put some little stitching around the outside of the petals you could make a lovely flower wreath with them you know so really good and a good way to use up little paper scraps as well so let's move on to the next one okay so this next one is a really creative way that you can use like nest and dies basic shapes like rectangles and um, ovals squares etc and i want to show you a couple of ones that i've made so i cut the nested ovals in different colours and then I cut a star out of the middle and popped a star back in but popped it up on a foam pad and then this one I did the same thing with a different um, rectangle dies and I cut a butterfly out and then I just put some 
silver mirror card behind it and then this one what I've done is I've cut out some nested um, octagons now the best way to cut these out is to put some low tack tape on them so pop them down layer them all together and just pop some low tack tape on and it keeps them together and you can just cut them out like that that's what I've done with these octagons as well so much easier than cutting one out at a time and all I'm going to do is glue them onto some card now it doesn't even have to be card it could just be copy of paper it's just something to get them to to stick on and then I'm going to cut round them so I'm just going to lay them all up glue them down like so and then just cut round it so I'll do that and I'll be back all right so I've stuck it down cut it out um, just cut round where I'd glued it on the paper now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper trimmer and I'm literally going to cut this in half now you can measure it if you want but I'm just going to eyeball it and hope for the best so I've just cut it in half like that and then what I'm going to do is I've got a card base here I'm going to glue, so I'm going to start with, I'm going to probably glue this one near the bottom, this one near the top and I'm going to leave like a gap which I'm going to stamp a sentiment but I think what I might do is I need enough room for the sentiment to go across the middle. So I'm going to grab a sentiment and I'll be straight back. Alright so what I've done is I've stamped thanks there on a white piece of card and what I'm going to do is take this and then just make a mark so I know where I know the kind of guide that I'm I've got to stamp another sentiment in the middle so all I'm going to do is just put a couple of faint little pencil lines just along there so when I take this off I know that I've got a stamp in between those two pencil marks and then I've got for being you so I'll have thanks for being you so I'll just quickly ink this up and I don't want to get it wrong and I want to also check that I've got it in the middle as well so I want it somewhere about here I would say my rough guesstimate so for being you and then I can now glue this on the front of the card for being you that's another fun way you can use them up I love that actually, that's really nice. Really simple, but I think they're really effective. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, so this one, I'm going to call this a floating shaker card. Now, I've took a piece of card, which I think is just under six by six. What I've done is I've cut out a circle. Now, if I can get my ruler which I've lost but I will give you the measurement for this circle but it doesn't really matter just use what you have really um, and then what I've done is I've raided my dies and I found this die which is a circle as well but truthfully it could be anything that is going to be smaller than this circle or square or hexagon or whatever shape you're going to do so then what I've done is I've took the next size down of the die okay and I've kept the cut out from that and what I'm going to do is cut this out in a smaller circle and then I'm going to have this in the middle because this die has no outside cutting edge it will just cut into the card but by putting another circle around it I can then make it a cut out die so I'm going to run this through the die machine and I'll be back right so that's what I mean I've cut that out and if I hadn't have cut that circle it wouldn't have cut out because it cuts inside the card but as I said you could use whatever die you've got to 
fit in your circle aperture but it can be whatever and what I mean by floating is it will be floating because it's not touching anything else so just to you know make it look a bit prettier I have got a honeydew stamp here and I'm just going to stamp in the corners of the um, the card so I'll just quickly stamp this All right, so we've got them and I could colour them in um, with something which I might do, I'm not sure yet. So that is gonna go on there. Now you will need your laminator for this, okay? So the next step is I've got a glossy laminate pouch here. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do first is take a piece of card. So actually, let's do this first. So we've got a piece of card with the laminate and pouch. Now what we need is we need the sticky, what would be the inside of the pouch needs to face up, okay? And it's a glossy pouch. Then I'm gonna have my piece of card on and I haven't got whole laminate and pouch it's just one side one piece of the sheet so laminate and side up and I'm gonna pop I'm gonna make sure that I have that there but actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this pouch just to the size of the card because we don't want it sticking over unnecessarily so we don't want it jamming or anything can be quite hard to cut them when it's just one sheet because they're so thin and flimsy but just make sure there's none hanging over the edges so can you see I've just cut enough to cover it and I can use this bit for another project so piece of card laminating piece laminating side up so what would be the inside of the pouch the piece of card that I've stamped and then my other little die cut in the middle to give it the effect that it's floating. I've got the laminate on and then I'm just going to quickly run this through and I'll be straight back. Alright so I've done that and as you can see we've now got our sort of laminate and pouch or acetate whatever you want to call it already behind which has caused created this sort of floating effect so let's get on and turn this into a card so what i'm going to do now is turn it over and obviously it's all encased in the back now and what i want to have as well is i've just took a bigger circle and i've die cut some of this pretty sort of ombre paper but it could be anything you could put anything behind it you want so that would fit behind there okay and I'm gonna create my shake a bit so I want my shakers just in the center piece here so I've got some foam tape and I'm just gonna start and sort of put it around the outside of the frame Okay, so I've got quite a few in there and then this is a plain pattern so I'm not particularly too bothered which way I put it and that is going to go over there just to encase all of my little shakers and give that a good press down I 
and there we go so we've got a floating sort of shaker element i hope you get what i mean by that i think that is so pretty and then i've got a card base here which i'm gonna pop this on the front so what i'll do now is i'll just pop some foam tape around the the outside there we go i've just gone for have a sweet day but give that a try and of course it's so tidy inside brilliant way to make a float and shaker so let's move on to the next one now another way you can use just like basic shape dies is by cutting out lots of little circles so what i've done is i've cut out a few little sizes in just different colors and then i've got a piece of black card here and all i'm going to do is start and sort of create like little patterns but a good thing you can do is if you just actually snip open one of your circles you can start to sort of interlink them and as long as it's hidden behind like you would put it in and then hide it behind the bit where hide the join behind the other circle you can create all these lovely little patterns and um, so what I'm going to do is I think just speed it up and start and glue these down um, and then I'll be back. Right now another really easy but really nice way to use up basic shapes is I've cut die cut an oval here and all I've done is I've stamped this image on it and I've coloured it in with alcohol markers and I've got a black piece of card that I'm going to have there so what I'm going to do is take my paper trimmer and I'm just basically going to cut this oval up so I'm going to start by cutting it in half and then I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to cut it just like that. So I've now got four pieces and all I'm going to do is then take some foam pads and I'm going to pop them on the back so I've just backed it on some green card underneath and I've just put hugs on your birthday across the middle but I definitely think it's just another way you can use simpler die shapes to create something really really pretty and I may even put some little pearls in the flower centers so let's move on to the next one okay so this next one this is a stamp that I have and I've stamped it with black ink um, actually this was the one in my latest craft box, monthly craft box and it is absolutely beautiful so hopefully I will have some more for sale um, really soon on my website but I'll put the link for my website but it's worth checking it out quite regularly because I do get different things on there all the time. So um, I've stamped it now. What I've done is I've took a circle die here and the size doesn't really matter but I do want it to sort of 
fit round this sort of beautiful flower stamp here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that out with the die and then keep it because we need it. So I'm going to cut roughly one from there and I'm going to cut one from there. Um, I mean, you could just do one if you want to, um, or you could do another smaller one up here. But anyway, I'm going to run them through the big shot and I'll be back. All right, so I've cut them out now. I'm devastated because can you see this sort of ghost stamp in here? That's basically because my ink hasn't been dry. I've die cut it, getting it on the plate and then transferred it back on to the card. So make sure your ink is completely dry. I used VersaFine, but I haven't let it dry long enough. Anyway, let's just forget about that bit. I'm just showing you another way you can use your dies here. And I've got some um, alcohol markers. <clears throat> and all I'm going to do is colour in the, um, the bits that I've cut out. And you can, you know, choose any colour you want to colour them in. And I'm basically going to do the same with this one as well. Um, so I'll colour the rest of these in and I will be back when it's finished. So I've just glued it onto a black piece of card there and I've put foam pads on the back. And I'm now going to stick these back in here, but obviously they'll be elevated because of the foam pads. But that is just another lovely way to use basic shape dies. <clears throat> I mean, it doesn't just have to be a circle. There's loads of different shapes you could actually use for this. And just get it back in the correct place. And then I would put a nice sentiment on, but I'm not going to with this because I've ruined it with this um, sort of ghost stamping look, which I'm not liking. So just got to figure out where this goes. I think it's here. That's it. Yeah, I would just put a nice sentiment on, but I think that's a lovely way to make a feature out of a stamp and just use some basic, you know, layering dies to give it something extra. So let's move on to the last one. Okay, so this last one. Now, you can see here what I've done is I've took a square die and I've cut it out of three different colours. Um, six sorry nine times so you can have them any colors you want but i've cut you know three green three red and three peach and then i've cut a little circle out of that and then all i've done is on the reverse i've just taped them together with some low tack tape so it's sort of made like a sort of you know sort of build and block effect now I'm then going to take a piece of card and I'm going to get my laminating pouch, sorry, a piece of lamination sheet and I've got it where the inside piece would be facing up, okay? And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this right side up and I'm going to put it over this laminating piece just like that, okay? And then I'm going to run it through my laminator. So it's laminated the back and it's laminated all of the pieces together. Well, it hasn't done that bit. I might run that bit back through.
all right so I ran that back through that's better now and I've got a card base here as well now what I'm going to do is turn this on it on the reverse and I'm going to take some of my foam tape here and then I'm going to run it around all four sides then what I'm going to do next is I want this to have three different types of shakers in it so I'm going to close off this piece here with foam tape and then the same with this piece here so now I can have three different types of shakers in my card so I'm going to peel all the tape off first There we go. So we have three different kinds of shakers. So we've got so like clear beads, we've got little umbrellas, and then we've got little fish. And then I've just got to pop it onto my card, get a sentiment on, and that's a brilliant way to make a card with multiple shakers. So I really hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'll put all these on my blog for you to have a look. You've still got time to vote in the Best of Craft Awards. I'll put the link below. I would really appreciate your vote. Um, and I'll be back again next week with lots more videos. So take care and bye for now. Mm -hmm.